the first gunshot had rung out so loud that it was heard across the many lands. Upon the horizon I stood with elders, knowing then that the time of change was soon at hand. Word then spread quick from the east through the sound of drums as African herbsmen speak of ghostly figures who come like thieves in the night to kill their children and rape their wives. These strangers fight with foreign shaped spears that when ignite creates a sound of thunder that throws rocks at the speed of light, destroying their earth, their home, and all forms of life. Later on that evening, I spotted smoke signals in the western skies, native shaman describing great detail, stories of horrific crimes being committed, brave warriors being killed from a distance. These cowards conversed over dead bodies about how hand-to-hand -hand combat had seemed so primitive. How do you civilize a nation that existed long before your time had permitted it? Did you not know your kings and queens of England would be met with full resistance and though we stood fast holding to our convictions, the power of the gun had proven to be too tremendous and through our seeds was supposed to be our vengeance, but the knowledge we used to feed the earth had the fruit fall too far from the tree. So go ahead and let your books tell tall tales of great victories and how the end should truly justify the means, but will it tell of pregnant mothers having their unborn babies cut from their stomachs? Meanwhile, with good Christians gather up the fetus to throw them away like rubbish, and yet you say none of this should matter no more, but yet at this very moment, the people in my village are at the edge of their island in amazement of these vessels now docking upon our shores.